My name is uh, Mangang Konyak. I am from BCA department, St. Joseph University. So we, here today we have brought uh, a Li-Fi model that we made for our science project. Uh, so I'm going to explain how it worked. Uh, so we made it with a simple uh, materials like this aux cable, the 9 volt battery, 20, 220 ohms uh, resistor, LED light, uh, photo detector, which is a solar panel, another end of this aux cable, a speaker, and so we are going to play a song here. So this, we are playing a song here, and then the audio signal is trans, transfer, transmitting through this uh, aux cable to the LED light, and the, we use this uh, battery to light this LED bulb. So it is sending the light signal along with the uh, along with the light, the audio signal along with the light, and this photo detector is harnessing the light along with the audio signal and amplifying back into the speaker. So it is playing a song now. So we can s stop this signal, this light, and. So we can stop this light and the flow of this audio data will stop, so this speaker will stop playing. But a transparent materials like this uh, paper, it can still pass through this uh, paper because a little amount of light is still passing through the paper. Ready? So here are the advantage of this uh, Li-Fi technology. So first is speed. Uh, its spectrum is 10,000 times larger than that of a radio wave. Uh, which is why the speed is much faster than the uh, traditional like the Wi-Fi that we use at home. Its speed, average speed is 224 GB per second, but it can reach up to 300 GB per second. And it is cheap and efficient. Like, in a sense, like, if you buy a bulb along with this technology, we are doing two things at the one time. That is buying this Li-Fi technology along with the bulb. And we can use it at home. Instead of just lighting the bulb we can, house, we can use it to connect to the internet. It is secured, which means uh, the light that we are using in one room, next room cannot use. So it acts as a security. At the same time, it is a dis disadvantage because our friends might want to share the internet connection in the next room, but due to uh, the wall, we cannot share. Uh, that, that acts as a security as well as the disadvantage. And the next advantage is the uh, use in safety purposes in traffic light. Suppose the first car can see the red light or an accident. So the first light will receive the uh, signal and then pass on to the next car through this tail light and then to the next car through the tail light and, will, and the last one will know what is happening in front. It might be an accident or a red light. So, so that the last one can choose a shorter path. They can think of a solution. So next is bi-directional, which means it is fast, but at the same time, it has a limitation. Like, it can either go forward or backward, or upward or downward. Because depending upon the direction of the light, it 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 will go only in two direction. So this technology is not that developed. It is new, so not much of the people are using this. Uh, there are no like commercial production of this uh, technology. It is used in. It can be used in aircraft, it can be used in hospital, like this sensitive environment like hospital and aircraft. So, not, it is not produced, but it, some militaries are using it because it, it is fast and it can send signal because during the attack or something, emergencies, it is fast. So they are using this in military. Thank you.